What is up Madden 16 fans? Welcome back to another Madden 16 tip guys. Today we are breaking down our defensive guide uh, for our GameStop tournament this evening. Um, we're going to be playing. We worked on it in Madden 15 and I'm showing it to you in Madden 15 but this is going to be what we're going to run in Madden 16 and so I, I hope that uh, you'll get something out of this. But today what we're breaking down is we're breaking down our blitzing uh, from this formation, our universal blitzing and what this is really going to kind of get at, uh, what we're really breaking down today is our cover three defense. This is a, a, a play that we are going to really get a lot out of, in my opinion. Now, we're going to come out in our you know, our cover two invert, our base play, but we're going to be able to audible into uh, what we're going to be doing today. All right, so we're going to go to our quick audibles, and you see that we have this play called Cover 3 Sky. We're going to call this play at the line of scrimmage, and what you're going to see here is we're going to base the line, pinch our dead line, crash them down, spread our linebackers, and then from that point, we're ready to go. And I think I messed something up with the linebackers there. Um, let me see if I can reset them. There we go, and then we're going to spread them out. Now you see that this uh, safety here is coming into the flat zone on the right side of the uh, on the right side of the field, and this other safety is going into the deep zone. That is your key that you're going to be sending this blitz off of the right side because what we're going to do is we're going to send pressure off the right edge, have our safety, our best corner, uh, or our best coverage guy that's going to be underneath coming down into the box uh, to hopefully make a play on a quick slant or a quick little corner pattern uh, for uh, as a breakaway pattern. So what you're going to do, again, all we've done so far, we base a line, we pinch our defensive line, we crash them in, spread our linebackers, and now, since we're going to be sending the pressure off of the right edge, we're just going to globally blitz that right of screen outside linebacker, and what you should see here is we should get some pressure off that right edge. And there you see we get that nice A-gap pressure, screaming up the middle. Uh, Henry Melton, guy with good acceleration, uh, does a nice job for us at getting that pressure in the middle of the field. What I want to showcase here again, let me just show you how to set this up one more time. Cover three sky, pinch your defensive line, spread your linebackers, crash your defensive line down, and then blitz the linebacker on the right side of the screen. You see that that's going to send that right pressure. Now what I want to show you here is I want to show you a slide protection pinch. We're going to slide protect pinch and what you're going to see is we're going to get that right gap outside pressure at the quarterback. We're still going to get that nice pressure right up in the face of the quarterback but now we're also going to add on that right outside pressure if they try to take away the inside pressure and so the the key here is we're going to get pressure uh, and that's kind of the the theme i don't really care where it comes from i just want the pressure on the quarterback quarterback's probably going to have about two seconds to throw the football and we're going to try to jump some things with our our um with our uh, corners and safeties the key to this play is we want to call it based on hashes and so for example if the ball is on the left hash what I want to explain to you is this. If the ball is on the left hash of the field. It doesn't make sense to blitz from the right because watch what we're doing. By blitzing from the right, we are taking people in coverage and bringing them towards the quarterback. So by blitzing from the right, we now only have two people on the right side of the field in coverage, and we have three people on the left side of the field. With the, with the right side of the field being the, the field with more room, more uh, space, it doesn't make sense to send pressure off of that side. And so what we're going to do instead is we're going to reset the play, and we're going to show you the left side pressure. It's very similar to the right side pressure. All we're going to do is we're going to call cover three sky, and then we're going to flip the play, and then we're going to set it up exactly the same. We're going to base a line, we're going to pinch our defensive line, we're going to spread our linebackers, but instead of blitzing that right of screen linebacker, we're going to blitz that left of screen linebacker. And here what you're going to see is Rolando McClain's going to send some pressure off this left edge, and we should get some nice pressure at the quarterback. And I think we may have uh, waited a little too long to, to hike the ball there and had some issues. Uh, you want to set this play up quick. Uh, it does matter uh, this season how quick you set the play up. And uh, here we go. We got that same setup in. We're going to use a user controlling Carter. And what you should see is that, that left pressure, that left looping pressure. Uh, and, and one of the reasons we may not see it is Jeremy Mincy may not have enough acceleration. It's important to get defensive tackles with good acceleration uh, when using pressure schemes like this. Okay, we'll try this one more time here. Let's see get it and there we get that nice loop pressure from Rolando McLean coming down at the quarterback so that's your left side pressure that's your right side pressure and you call them based on the hashes so for example if the ball was closer to this hash it may it doesn't have to be all the way over maybe it's about this far over then what we're gonna do more than more times than not is we're gonna send that pressure off the right side of the screen cover three sky baseline pinch line crash line down spread linebackers globally blitz that right of screen linebacker and then you are good to go and we're going to send that pressure right off that right edge here Sean Lee is going to get a sack at the quarterback sends some nice pressure at the quarterback 
And so that's kind of the, the guideline for the blitzing aspect of this and for sending pressure in the passing game. What I want to showcase now is our guideline for stopping the run. And, and okay, and so one of the one of the things we want to get at here is we're just going to use uh, a basic run. We're going to once again we're going to use that that wide trap play, uh, a nice off tackle run that we're going to face in this year's game. Wide trap and inside zone combo. And we're just going to come out in the cover three sky, but we'll, we'll normally come out in the cover two invert and audible to the cover three sky. But here's the cover three sky, and what we're going to do is we're going to base the line since the run we know is probably going to come to the right side of the field. We're going to uh, pinch our defensive line, crash them down, spread our linebackers, globally blitz that right of screen linebacker, and then we are good to go. I like to use the safety or the linebacker in this case, and you're going to see we should get a nice little stop here uh, on DeMarco Murray. We get that nice outside contain from the blitzing linebacker, and we end up blowing the run up in the backfield. Here I want to just show you the inside zone and how it looks against the same play. Uh, set everything up the same way here. We got that right side pressure set up. And I like to, you know, typically if it's a running down, I'll use with the safety to bring him in the box. And here you're going to see that inside zone. And we do a nice job at really taking away some of those tough yards for the inside zone. Here I simply want to show you the flipped version of this. And so we're going to call our cover through sky. We're going to flip the play because we think that we're going to send it from the left side. We're going to base the line. We're going to pitch our defensive line. We're going to crash them down. Spread our linebackers, globally blitz that left outside linebacker, take the safety. I like to bring him down into the box, place him on a quarterback spy for user control purposes, and then we are going to blow that run up in the backfield once again. This is a great run defense, in my opinion, the best run defense in the game. And then here, let's show you this one more time. We want to show you this against the inside zone. So we're going to set everything up the same way. Bring that safety over, and it really takes a uh, short time to set this defense up because it's all global setups. You don't really have to manually click on anybody. And here you see that inside zone feed, and that safety is going to come down and blow that up on the quarterback. So really, really nice plays here. Um, the cover three is, is really nice. You can actually use this setup uh, with any defense that you want from this uh, playbook, or excuse me, from this formation. Um, all the, the setups are all the same for a cover two as they are for a cover three as they are for a cover four as they are for a corner blitz three they're all the same setup it's going to give you that same pressure uh, be sure to have defensive tackles with good acceleration uh, rating and this is going to work out really nice for you I hope you guys really enjoyed this one uh, like I said last video we covered our outside pressures how to get pressure on the outside to kind of contain today we showed you our gap pressure and then uh, also we had our first video in the playlist we actually showed you uh, kind of our base play what we come at in to kind of really fill out our opponent and get a feel for what he wants to do offensively and also just kind of situationally. Uh, and that's a really good play for us as well. Uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to, or excuse me, not tomorrow, but the next video we're going to show you in this defensive guide is uh, our gameplay. So be sure to come back for that. I hope you guys really enjoyed this 4-3 wide 9 mini scheme. Like I said, this is our this is what we're going to go into Madden 16 with. Uh, this is this is kind of my bread and butter and I really like it. I hope it's effective. I think it's simple, but I think it's very effective and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to check out the other videos in the playlist. Uh, I'll leave a playlist link in the description. And lastly, guys, if you could do me one favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not already. We're going to be placed